Picking a motherboard can be kind of daunting. However, I've split it up into four categories to make it pretty simple. The first one being aesthetic. This is the MSI Project Zero motherboard. So the ports are on the back, bringing aesthetic to the front. Am I supposed to hold it this way? Probably not. This is a silver black motherboard. There's a lot of other combos. You can get a full black one, full white one, silver white, white black, silver black. The next category is size. We have E-ATX, which is the extended version, regular ATX, micro ATX, and mini ITX. This one is a micro ATX board, so it's a little bit smaller lengthwise than a regular ATX. Interjection. If you're trying to pick a motherboard, make sure to watch my full extended guide on YouTube. I just came out with the video. The next category when picking out a motherboard is the slots. There's RAM slots, PCIe slots, and M.2 slots. This board, for instance, only has one PCIe slot where most people might want to. In this PC build, for example, I use a PCIe slot for my GPU and another one for a Wi-Fi card. This board also features four RAM slots, which is pretty common. It also has two M.2 slots. The reason you kind of want to look into the slots on a board is because upgradability is a thing here. Like in the future, if you ever do need to have like a capture card or a sound card or something like that, you're going to need a second PCIe slot. And if you don't have that, you're just kind of out of luck. The fourth and last category is talking about the IO shield here on the side. When picking a motherboard, you want to look at the IO shield because it's going to show you how many USB B ports it has, USB-Cs, and anything extra. Oh, I didn't even know this, this was in there. I've been looking for this. <laughs> for me, USB-Cs are important to have. I use them all, all the time, literally all the time. So there's two on this one, which is so clutch and cool. You also wanna look at extras like sound stuff, you know, how many ports are, HDMI, or this one has a d display port as well, which is really cool. And honestly, I don't really see much. I don't have a lot of builds with that in it. And the Clear CMOS and BIOS flashback button are both very, very handy and important. Having to take your CMOS battery out anytime you run into an issue is literally so annoying. The CMOS clear button, lifesaver. If this video was helpful, make sure to follow for more PC tips.